Despite settling for a split on Monday on the CBB hardwood, we did go plus 0.3 units to keep our profitable run to start the college basketball season going. Let's have a big Tuesday, shall we? What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris, and you are now watching The Bounce. We're a daily college basketball betting show committed to bringing you college basketball winners on a daily basis. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, and we have a stacked college basketball slate to choose from, and we're coming out firing with four selections we believe have the best opportunity to turn us a profit here tonight. Now, before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't already, smash the like button. Please go ahead and do so now. And if you guys are new around here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I do not want you to miss out on any great content we got moving forward. And we're approaching 1,100 subscribers, which is phenomenal. If we get there by the end of the night, that would be fantastic. Thank you guys for all your support. Now, without further ado, here's tonight's four selections. The first play we are rolling with is Kentucky plus seven points over Kansas. The odds are minus 110. Look, when this line was Kansas laying minus four and a half points, I thought Kansas was the right play. But since then, it's creeped up to minus seven. And I'm definitely flipping the script here. I'm taking Kentucky plus the seven points for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, these two teams at this particular moment are not seven points apart in terms of talent and ability. Both teams have played cupcake schedules to start the season, both going 2-0. and And in reality, we can take very little away from those games. And we're not going to know how they react when the going gets tough. What I like about Kentucky is their ability to limit their turnovers. They're averaging just 4.5 turnovers per contest compared to Kansas' 12. If Kentucky can continue to take care of the ball and not give Kansas any free possessions or opportunities to make uh, baskets, then I believe this game is going to come down to the wire and it's going to be a close affair. Both teams can score that we know, but is Kansas really going to continue their 73.6% true shooting percentage? Highly unlikely. Give me all the points in this one. Give me the Kentucky Wildcats plus 7 points at minus 110. The second play we are rolling with is Duke minus 4 points over Michigan State. The odds are minus 110. Look, we happily faded uh, Duke on Friday versus Arizona, and Arizona got the job done. We cashed a ticket with them plus the points, but we're going to jump on the bandwagon here of the Duke Blue Devils for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, they're the better team in this matchup. Duke has shown the ability to score uh, points uh, at will through the first two games of their season. And if it wasn't for a lack of rebounding uh, prowess against Arizona, who dominated the glass, Duke probably would have won that contest. Against Michigan State, on the glass, they should fare just as well, uh, if not better, than the Spartans uh, will do. And further, Michigan State right now, they're not shooting the ball particularly well. They're shooting just 41% from the floor and 6.5% from three-point range. That's not going to cut it against a sharp shooting team like the Duke Blue Devils. Give me Duke here, laying the points, minus four points here at a neutral site in uh, Chicago. Duke, minus four, minus 110. Play we have for you is Providence, money line, plus 105 over the Wisconsin Badgers. Look, this game right now is going to come down to depth, and right now Wisconsin does not have any of that. They were outscored 23-8 to in terms of bench points in their loss to Tennessee uh, in their last game, and they seem to struggle. Uh, history would prove so against teams that are athletic and create space and can score points in bunches, which is exactly what the Providence Friars are. We like Providence athleticism here to take uh, forefront against a Wisconsin team that likes to play a slow tempo of basketball. But I don't see any way Wisconsin can keep up offensively with the Friars. The Friars have a top 70 defense and are generating 10.5 steals per contest, something that Wisconsin is going to struggle with this contest. Give me the Friars at home with a chance to go 3-0 against a Power 5 school. Give me the Friars on the money line, plus 105. The fourth and final play we have for you is the SMU Mustangs. Plus six points over the Texas A&M Aggies. The odds are minus 110. Look, we're back in another dog here for a couple of reasons. SMU's looked solid through the first three games of the season. I expect that to continue at home against the Texas A&M side coming off a good win against Ohio State. But they're playing their second consecutive road game, and that's always tough to do in college basketball. SMU is the top 40 defensive rating, and they generate nearly 9.7 turnovers per contest, something Texas A&M is prone to doing, turning the ball over. And SMU likes to make the extra pass for averaging nearly 14 and a half assists uh, per contest, which is going to strain Texas A&M's defense uh, to the limit. As for the Aggies, sure, they beat Ohio State on the road, but they managed just zero fast break points in that game. And they needed Ohio State to go four from 19 from beyond the arc to win that game by seven measly points. That's not going to happen on the road for the second consecutive night. Give me SMU plus all the points here. SMU plus 6, minus 110. That wraps up Tuesday's edition of The Bounce. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and share this fix with your friends on social media so we can all make some money together. Next episode of The Bounce will be available on Wednesday morning. Until next time.